And we're back. Uh, this is part 8b, and as you can see here, there is the frames per second issue, and since Dante moves so slow, it becomes even more apparent. And like I said, I apologize, folks. Uh, it's a new, brand new monitor, and I hadn't had everything set up yet. This was just a test video to see how it go. And I gotta figure out how to fix it. Um, basically, the resolution of the new monitor is it's uh, wider, uh, and that's probably why it's affecting the uh, screen so badly. Is because it, it's just a little bit wider. It's smaller, but it's wider. Okay. And I just need to play around and figure out how to get to work. But anyway, where we left off was we're gonna get in, go get Dante and get rid of that tank, possibly. Don't know yet. So we stick our knife out and jab, jab, for whatever reason. So now we got our bazooka out, and we'll go ahead and get ourselves in position. Wait for the tank. So it doesn't just all of a sudden uh, pwn us. And we'll pick up the automatic machine gun there, just because Dante doesn't have one yet. Looks like this time the tank's closer. So we'll go ahead and make our advance. Oh, we got the drop on that guy down below. And there's our friend the tank. So let's get it. Notice I'm aiming for the tank, but it hits the guy. That was right in front of the tank. <laughs> yeah, auto aim fail once again. Could have killed the tank, but because there was one guy right in front of that tank, it decided to auto aim for him. So I wasted three shells. Oh well. Luckily we have some more ammo for Dante here. Yeah, bazooka and some mortars. And there's a jeep up ahead. Looks like there's some guys down there too. But I'll just go ahead and wait for that Jeep to show up. Take out the infantry while I'm waiting. And it looks like uh, Jeep's on its way back. So let's get our bazooka ready. Get in position. A little longer. A little longer. Come on. Come on, Jeep. Come on, Jeep. And boom. We got him. Direct hit. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? Let's go ahead and roll around and take out the guys here with us. But we still have to use Dante, just because I uh, don't know if there's any other nasty gnarlies out here that could one-hit and kill a guy. Looks like there's a guy on patrol up ahead, but I don't see nothing any nothing any special. Yeah, there's nobody up there. That's weird. Go ahead and blow this up. Pick up the ammo. So, uh, pretty much, what are your thoughts on this uh, premise of uh, Army Man class system? Uh, and having two different skills for each one. Do you think it would work in future games, or don't you? Or do you think that they should have just scrapped it? I know that they scrapped it, but I mean, should they have kept on with the premise? 
I mean, me personally, I think they should have kept on with the premise just because it is rather an interesting game mechanic, and it is pretty fun. Something spawned to the right of me. I don't know what it is. Let's go turn around and see what it is. But we'll take out some of these infantry fire up ahead first. Whatever it is, it sure is moving around a little bit. And that looks stationary now. Unfortunately, the frames per second lag, but at least you can see the more around hitting. And it's slow and choppy way. Boom. There we go. Okay, let's go see what's behind us. And it's oh lord a tank. It's bam bam bam. Three should have killed it, but it didn't. Four should have killed it, but it didn't. Quick roll 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 roll. Roll. Run. Boom. Direct hit. Let's try this again. Run, run, little guy, run. Don't let the tank get you. It looks like we triggered some more guys just getting that far away from the tank. But we still have to take out that tank. And it's another direct hit. Boom. Okay, let's try this one more time. Bum rush. Boom. 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 Oh, roll out of the way. And it's done. <laughs> that killed it. Well, at least we don't have to worry about that tank now. But anyway, like I said, what do you th what do you guys think on it? Should they have expanded it more on it? Do they think that's enough? Or I mean, what do you think about it? Sarge's Heroes tried to do NPC uh, escorts with the NPC shooting them like you know like Shrap and Thick and Ho and Hoover and all them working alongside Sarge, but it didn't really control two players at once. So it might give different gameplays and different styles there. But while we're at it here, let's go ahead and move Shadow up. I don't think there's going to be any other nasty, gnarly surprises on us. I already sprang that death trap right there. And this is what I was talking about before of always have your partner in a safe location. Uh, just in case like you have auto triggers or something and you need to you need to gri quickly grab your one guy to go up or something. This kind of makes the missions a little bit easier. And it looks like there's these guys here. Let's go ahead and shoot them. Pow. And we'll move up a bit so we can hit them. Pow. I don't see nothing up ahead, so that means there, oh, there's one right there. 
next step, bush. Okay, that should be all of them. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And that, that truck just exploded. Well, that means we're at the objective. So, of course, that means we have to find the wrench. But instead of finding the wrench first, let's go ahead and secure the truck. And then we'll worry about uh, getting the wrench. So at least we have no surprises at the end. Because we know 3DO and surprises. Like, oh, there's some guys running up there already. One, two. It looks like one spawned in right behind me, too. Two of them spawned behind me. There's some guys up there, but we're not going to bother with them yet. And it looks like there's three of them here. It looks like we triggered five guys in that one. Six guys in that one. I sneak up, I snuck up on that guy. And then they do a douche. They do a douche move. There's an actual wall there. But yet there's an enemy behind that wall. What I mean is you ca your character can't walk to that point, but yet they place an enemy there. So we have to see, as you can see, I'm actually walking into the end of the level. But yet he's able to shoot me. Isn't that a little bit douchey? Uh, but we got him. So now we gotta f check the boxes and s see if uh, the wrenches are inside. Looks like specially designed boxes too. Yeah, I can't really tell what emblem that is. Looks like it's some sort of birdie or something. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see. Oh, that box isn't. Let's see, these boxes. Are those boxes? Nope, those boxes don't explode. This one? And this one? Nope. Yeah, you can kind of see what emblem that is there. I can't really tell too well. But if anybody wants to give it a guess of what it is, go ahead. But since we have this supply depot up here, it, maybe it'll be in here. And France per second lag because of the explosion. Okay. It looks like, yep, there's our wrenches. With some weird little pointy uh, tracks there that are uh, weirdly pointed, I suppose. Not sure why the little arrow things are there, but they're there. Okay, we got Shadow here, so now we gotta get Dante up, and that should be it for the end of the mission.
So with this, I will go ahead and leave you adieu, other than just the slow walkiness of this. And yes, you can drive the cargo truck, but only for like f 15 seconds or so. Uh, then it auto uh, says you won the level. Kind of silly, it's making you drive to a certain point and then saying in the level. But yeah, you can drive those manually. Anyway, we got Dante here, we got Chanel here, so we just go ahead and equip the wrench and we'll go ahead and repair the truck and get in. And let's go. Okay, this is Kiki signing out uh, for part 8B uh, later.